Okay, if I remember correctly, the last thing we did was the second trial, right? I would like to talk with you when you have a moment. Okay, what do you want, Deke? What, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? You wanted to tell me more about the loom. What about the loom, man? Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you wanted to tell me more about the loom. Ah, hello. Uh, yes, about that. Deke has had a thought. He... <gasps> I was about to say, there's something happening. Oh! Wait, isn't that the very godmother's uh, carriage from, like, Cinderella? That's what that reminds me of. That's kind of crazy. Oh. oh, seems the room thinks you need more space for your beasts. A as Deke was saying, uh, he's had a thought. Now, Deke knows how you can test the item of clothing that you enhanced in the Enchanted Loom. And... Perhaps help an old friend in the process. What do you mean? A house elf named Tobbs works for his master, retrieving leech juice in a cave near Hogwarts. Tobbs' master doesn't let him leave the cave. Indeed, knows the cave is infested with spiders. That sounds awful. It does. It is. Deke hasn't heard from his friend for a while now. Mm. As the item you wove in the loom has an enchantment that might be useful, Deke thought you could test it whilst checking on Tobbs. Yeah, I'll, I'll find I him. Understand. Leave it to me, Deke. I'll find Tobbs for you. Oh, thank you. He's dead. Please let as Deke fuck. know what you learn about Deke's old friend. Yeah, he's dead as fuck. Is what it is. So what is this? Uh, okay. I mean, hey, yo. It's a beach. Cool, I guess. What's up, uh, what's your name? It's a Pokria. Hmm. Okay. Oh, the cave. What is this music? There are things here. Ooh, okay. This fucking music, man. Rebellion. There has to be other shits here, yeah? Like a chase? To... I knew it. I'm jumping down. I don't care. Ugh. Rebellion. Okay, well, this is the cave. You know? Nice relaxing time, you know? Wait. Oh my. Look at this. Look. Look. Away, High Wing! Away! What the fuck is wrong with you? Let's go! Come on, High Wing! Faster, High Wing! Give me off this damn horse. Down, my friend. Yeah, get me, get me off of it. Holy fucking shit, that was fucking disastrous. Never again. Never again. I will not put a fucking finger, let alone a motherfucking toe, on that fucking dumbass horse. Holy shit. That was a fucking disgrace, what the fuck happened? Must have been quite stately in its time. Okay, we got it. She's up on the cliff, but why? What is you doing, girl? You must dismount, dismount to continue. Uh, all right. Is Highwing all right? Natty told me what the two of you did. Uh, fuck that brain dead horse, bro. Highwing's fine. Fuck I'm it. keeping an eye on her. I will not. She's safe, Poppy, I promise. She's Good. dead to me. Whatever the poachers are up to, I want Highwing far from it. You said you had news about the poachers and that some of it had to do with me. It did. I overheard them talking in the hogshead and... Did you know that they have orders from Victor Rookwood to capture you on sight? Does this have anything to do with Rookwood and Harlow coming for you in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack? Yeah, no it shit. It does, somewhat. But at the moment, I'm more concerned about what else you heard the poachers are up to. Fair enough. But I hope you'll let me know if I can be of help. 
Especially after what you did for Highwing. Does the name Horntail Hall mean anything to you? No. I'm afraid not. Why? What is it? The poacher's best kept secret, apparently. The name came up twice, but they never went into detail. I also overheard one of them bragging about all the gold they're making, at the expense of innocent creatures, undoubtedly. The poachers spoke of this area, and I thought if we searched around a bit, it might give us clues as to what they're doing. If you ever meet my gran, this trip never happened. I don't know who the fuck your gran is, so your secret's safe with me, not man. Not to worry, Poppy. If I ever meet your gran, I shall not speak a word of this. I normally tell her everything. She might be my best friend after highwing, but she knows how I feel about the poachers. I think she worries I'll do something ill-advised. Whatever gave her that idea? This way. Ah. Okay. I'm surprised your short ass could climb that fucking rock, bro. Ooh, centaurs! <gasps> A centaur! Tread carefully. An entire castle to roam, yet you choose to wander here. Please, we don't want any trouble. We're simply passing through. Do you take us for fools? That we do not notice more and more of your kind around here, in league with the poachers? We aren't involved with them. If anything, we want to see them stopped. I hope for your sake that is true. Our kind is swiftly losing patience with the poachers and those they work with. Okay, so that means we, we're good. We got lucky. Yo, he Poppy. Was certainly a charmer. That could have gone worse. She's so damn Centaurs slow. Aren't exactly fans of wizard kind, and the poachers aren't helping matters. But why would he think that we had anything to do with poachers? I did notice the poachers talking with a few villagers in Hogsmeade. I'm not sure why. Perhaps that's why the centaurs are suspicious. Okay. Where is you even taking me? Oh, oh no! -y. That's the third time I've seen a dugbog behave that violently. It seems that a lot of beasts have been more aggressive than usual lately. I've noticed that too. It's almost like there's something in the water. What there is? What if there is? This is odd. What is it? Not entirely sure, but look around. If the poachers were here, perhaps we can find out why. So what am I looking for? We're looking for crates and cages. Why wouldn't they take their cages with them when they left? Pelt. Poor be still smoking. They can't have been gone long. Nope. This is goblin metal. Seems out of place in a poacher camp. I should tell Poppy about it. Oh boy. And did she just Anything leave? Interesting. Did she just leave me to like search it alone? Poachers were here. All sorts of evidence. But I found something else. It's goblin made. I found goblin armor. Let's keep searching, but. Carefully. Merlin only knows what's going on here. I don't have a good feeling about this. All right, take us, Poppy. How do goblin and poacher interests align? Look, I don't know. Down there. Definitely poachers. No creatures, though. So what are they doing out here? Let's take a closer look. They won't be happy to see us. Should we use disillusionment? Or perhaps a less discreet approach? Hard to say from up here. Let's get a better lay of the land. This not discreet. Fuck discreet, man. Not discreet. I'm just going in, bro. Getting one off guard. The ministry ought to relax their feelings towards the dark arts. One in the morning. I heard something. <sighs> Bitches, bro. Okay, is he dead? I don't know if he's dead or not. Boom! Dumbass! 
They were guarding the minister for magic himself. What is going on here? Only one way to find out. At the repair of the bridge, oh. Repair. -o. Oh, look at this. My magic is good. It's powerful, man. Look at that, man. All right. Who and what is in this motherfucking tent, bro? That's a lot of loot. Okay, poacher tent. I have to enter the poacher tent through a cutscene. What in Merlin's name? Are those dragons? Wait, those are fucking wyverns, yo. The green one looks like a lizard. It's a dragon fighting room. Mm. This is Horntel Hall. The name makes sense now, and the secrecy. No wonder the poachers were in Hogsmeade so much. Likely taking bets and spreading the word, given how crowded it is here. How could they possibly enjoy this? The centaurs have every right to be disgusted with wizard kind. There must be more dragons here. Poachers are far too greedy to run a fighting ring with only two dragons. We should take advantage of most eyes being in the fight and look around, but be discreet. You especially can't afford to be spotted. Why not? But why not? Then I what Victor was sinking his totalis. Motherfucking rat bitch, yeah. There's gotta be loot over here, man. Have you heard from your family? Has even of your brothers come round to our way of thinking? When they join us? Ah, they say we go too far. The violence is gonna get us what we do. It's no time. Such arrogance. Expelliarmus. Can bring your place. What have you done? Expelliarmus. Come down. Bam! Places. The mass, man. Give me that chest. I wanted that chest, man. Okay, we need to use... We need to use my ancient magic! Double R! Double ro uh, buttons, yeah? Hmm. I don't care. I'm going in balls blazing, bro. Wait, how do I get in there? Did you hear those goblins? Ramrock and the poachers must be working together. Okay. Oh, something's going on behind you. What's going on down there? Oh! Oh! They must have only just captured her. She's putting up quite the fight. Not a fair one, though. Not with her chained up like that. Let's even her, shall we? Okay, let's uh, let's go free the bitch, yeah. Okay, I'm going in, baby. Look, they've got a dragon egg, Hebridean from the looks of it. Can't leave it here, not with the plans they likely have for it. Okay. Say less. Revelio. Say less. Okay, can I like move any fucking faster? Like goddamn, bro. Can I collect that? Oh, I can't carry any more Wigan welds. 25. Hello, Hamora. 25's the limit, yeah? Apparently. Ah. Nice. Okay. Poppy, I need you to take this, man. All right, I have the egg. Ready. The element of surprise will only buy us a few seconds. Let's make them count. Bitch. Come here, bitch. 
Holy. We did it, we did it, we did it. Wait, who the fuck is you? You're the one we're looking for, and you brought a friend. Okay, how about this? I have to. Okay, he's a chicken. I don't think so. In the fucking word, bro. How about I just execute him? Just execute him. Come here, bitch. Nice. Okay. Did I do it? Nah, I think I pulled it out. This may have been a bad idea. I suppose we'll find out. She's gonna snatch him up. Snatch him up, man. Jumping right into it, bruh. Hell yeah. That was a Hebridean black. I'm guessing the egg we have belongs to that dragon. I don't think she knew they had her egg. She wouldn't have left without it. What now? She didn't exactly leave us a calling card. I, I don't know. Nothing about this day was expected. Not the goblins and definitely not the fighting ring. The last thing I planned on was a dragon egg. And the poachers saw us, which cannot be good. Oh, fuck them, dude. We aren't helping ourselves standing here. True. Let's get to safety. We can sort this out later. You're right. If there's anything the poachers are good at, it's tracking their prey. And right now, we're it. Be careful, won't you? I shall see you back at the castle. Uh, no, you won't. Hey, yo, we did level up. So you know what that means. Hey, yo. The dark arts, eh? Lucky a spell with a perfect protego will send two projectiles back to the enemy. Let's do that. Spell. After you've completed the required tasks, which I'm certain will prove useful in finishing your field guide, attend my class to learn the new spell. Afterwards, we will discuss your progress thus far in the term. Our next quest we have to do, complete, complete Professor Weasley's assignments. So what is it? Collect the field guide page in the underground harbor and collect the field guide page from the book on intermediate transformation in the library. Okay, so where are those at? What's up, Dobie, man? That book Professor Weasley asked me to find should be a... Looking for the book Intermediate Transfiguration. Wait, yeah. How did you know? Professor Weasley asked me to, uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Oh, quiz. my God. Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, <sighs> I have created a small quiz 
just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the wizarding world. None of the other students will try it, no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Ugh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. I don't think I Surely do either. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. Oh no, if I must. If that's the only way I can convince you to give me that book, then let's get it over with. True. Splendid. Just a few questions and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in the game of Quidditch? The snake bird? The Golden Snidget? The... What? Okay, these don't sound real, so the snake bird. The snake bird? No. Incorrect. The answer was the Golden Snidget. The Snidget was first <coughs> introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question. Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? The pepper up potion, the Alihasi draw it, Felix Felicis. Felix Felicis. Felix Felicis. Well done. Since I think I remember that. Temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? The founder's relics, horcruxes, the deathly hallows, the tale of the three Brothers involves the magic which magical artifacts the founders relics no Because that, well, that would be for horcruxes horcruxes. No, the answer was the deathly hallows According to beadle the bard the deathly hallows consists of the elder wand the resurrection stone and the cloak of invisibility Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? Oh The bludger the bludger. I'm sorry, but the correct answer was the quaffle when a chaser throws the quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded 10 points. True or false? Polyjuice potion allows the drinker to change species. False. False. Correct. While Polyjuice potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. True. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. Please, thank I'll God. put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. Those were easy! These ones will be more difficult. Oh, man. More questions! I'd like to answer more questions. Jesus what Christ. What governmental body directly preceded the Ministry of Magic? The Ministry of Magic? Uh, the Wizards Council. The Wizards Council. That's correct. The Wizards Council disbanded in 1707 after the creation of the International Statute of Wizarding Secrecy, which required a more structured government to support its enforcement. Which dragon breed is the smallest? The Ukrainian Iron Belly? No. The Peruvian Viper Tooth or the Antipodian Opali? The Opali. The Antipodian Opali. No, I'm sorry, but the answer was the Peruvian Viper Tooth. I fucking knew Though it. Though the Viper Tooth is the smallest breed, averaging at around 15 feet in length, it is also the fastest breed and feared for its venomous fangs. Who oh. founded the village of Hogsmeade? Um, Quincy Hogg. Alfreda Clagg, Hingis of Woodcroft. Hingis of Woodcroft. That sounds like it. But it could be Quincy Hogg because of the Hogsmeade. Fuck it. Quincy Hogg. No, the answer was Hengist of Woodcroft. I fucking knew it too. It is believed that Hengist used the Three Broomsticks Inn as his home. The hide behind <sighs> was accidentally created by crossbreeding a ghoul with what other magical creature? The hide behind? Breeding a ghoul and what? Uh, a leatherfold. A leatherfold. That's incorrect. The answer was a demiguise. While the hide behind has the power of invisibility, those who have seen it have described it as a tall, thin monkey with silver hair. What is the only spell known to repel a leatherfold? Repel a leatherfold. Patronus, the stunning spell, the knockback genes. Patronus. The Patronus charm. Well done. The only known survivor of a leatherfold attack was a wizard named Flavius Belby, who was on holiday in Papua New Guinea at the time. Who published the law of elemental transfiguration? Elemental transfiguration? Laverne D. Montmorency. Evangeline Orpington. Gant. Probably Laverne D. Montmorency. Laverne de Montmorency. That's incorrect. The answer I was looking for was Gamp. One of the principal exceptions to Gamp's law is that food cannot be conjured. 
though it can be summoned. What does the Hogwarts motto translate to? Hogwarts has a fucking motto. Never tickle a sleepy dragon. Look before you leap. Knowledge is the real magic. Knowledge is the real magic. No, the answer was never tickle a sleeping dragon. In Latin, the Hogwarts motto is Draco Dormians Nunquam Titillandus. What? Which magical creature is the only one known to produce eggs through its mouth? Oh, the basilisk, the ashwinder, or the rune sport. I think it's one of these. The basilisk. Why would the fucking snake? No, the ashwinder. The ashwinder. That's incorrect. The correct answer was the rune's paw. According to Parcel Mouths, each of the rune's paw's three heads serves a different function. <sighs> the left head is the planner, the middle is the dreamer, and the right is the critic. Where is Ilvermorny School of Witchcraft and Wizardry located? Uh, Ilvermorny, uh, uh, please stop. Please stop asking me these fucking dog shit questions. Pyrenees. The Pyrenees. No. Ilvermorny is actually located on Mount Greylock. The American school was founded in the 17th century by Esalt Sayre and James Stewart. What is the most powerful love potion known to wizard kind? Oh, the Cupid. Amorticia, Varincitium, elixir to induce euphoria. Elixir to induce euphoria. Incorrect. The answer was Amortentia. Amortentia smells differently to every person according to what they find attractive. Such as dusty book covers or... <clears throat> Are you interested in continuing on to the next round? No! Difficult questions. No! 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 I am not. Fuck off. I don't have time for another quiz. I don't have time. That's fine. Come and find me if you'd like to try later. No. I put the book back on the pedestal for you. Revelio. Thanks. This. Jesus fucking Christ. What a waste of fucking time, man. You cannot enter while mounted. Well, fine. I'll fucking just swim, bitch. The underground harbor. Yeah, something I didn't know that I uh, heard. Um, I forgot. I believe that the, the first years they come in through the boats. I remember that in the movie. So this is the underground harbor. The Grey Lady. <laughs> I'd say hello, but she doesn't seem particularly social. Well, it was though, I guess. Rebellion. Seems like there's a chest over there too. Okay, deep beneath the vi the viaduct courtyard is the low landing for boats delivering first year students across the Black Lake. That's what it's called. Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend Transfiguration. It's called the Black Lake. Interesting. There's so much like Harry Potter lore that like is just you don't really know about. You have to like really pay attention to it or look it up. The type shit. By the courtyard. Wait, I never took in this elevator. Wait, is this an elevator that I could have taken? In like one of the earlier episodes? You you, you did you watch? No? Uh oh. It is. It is. Okay, we're gonna learn a new oh. may finally be safe since we rescued the dragon from Hauntel Hall. Oh. oh, the poppy, the, the three broomsticks poppy is going to teach us the dragon. Wait, she turned the owl into a book. Settle down, settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost... Anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Okay, why do we always sit by Natty? You all know what to do. Why not Seb? What is this? What does transformation do? I'm turning it into a rat. Okay, maybe not.
Beautifully done. Well, um, okay. Thanks for the new spell. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Of course. Uh, I mean, yeah. Despite spending so much fucking time on these dog shit assignments. True. I'm glad to hear it. I'm not certain I needed all the extra assignments. And I'm certain you would not have been as successful without them. Now, it seems you've been making good use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. I've heard that you can brew an impressive Edurus potion. Hopefully, you won't need it anytime soon, but it is a valuable potion to have when it is needed. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumors of your extracurricular activities. Were your meetings with Professor Black's house elf and exploration of various caves down by the lake connected in any way to Professor Fig? Wait, were your meetings with Professor Black's house elf and exploration of various caves down by the lake connected in any way to Professor Fig? Yes. Professor Fig has encouraged me to explore when I can in uh, an effort to complete my field guide. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. Fucking owls, bro. Let's look at this new, new one. That's a lengthy cooldown. Since our visit to Feldcroft, something dawned on me about the triptych. Meet me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. All right, say less, Sebastian. My plan with the helmet failed, but I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there, and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. Gobbledygook. Wait, gobbledygook. Isn't that, isn't that the one guy? Yeah, the one guy, a meat. Oh God, the the way I'm, I don't like a meat. There's there's reasons, man. All right, let's go. Ooh. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Okay. So, what is it? Yeah. Okay, where's the rock? Way the fuck up there. Put the bolso on and. Ow! Whoa! 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 Hey! Oh come on, man! Ooh, little, little lamb, little goat. Can I capture you? That's a fucking milk tank, bro. Or a Tauros. Yeah. Okay, we have to fly around these. There's another one right here. Oh, it's enemies. I'm not doing it if it's got enemies around it. Oh, fuck that shit. We got people. Where y'all coming from, man? There's got to be a fast shovel right here, man. Please. It's like a place for Yeah, there's a fast shovel. Book. I'm going to pop these balloons first though. Cuz why not? Aha! I know a Merlin trial when I see one. I do too. Do I have any mellow sweet? I do. Good for you. Himself would be proud. That was easy enough. Fuck it, dude. Okay, let's get the fast travel. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. What are you up to now? And we could get 
fast uh, Barda little side quest. Thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rookwood's played a hand in his disappearance. And who are you? Excuse me. Did you say something about Bardolf Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother Bardolf. Only he's gone missing. Rumor is he was seen in the forest practicing dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They seem to be everywhere. Okay, well, uh, I'll keep an eye out, but he's dead. Look out for him, man. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper, one that Claire knitted herself. Okay. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. Nah. Rebellion. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Ooh, a black, a basket weave, and it's black. Ooh. What do we have here? A level, a level one lock, bruh. Revelio. I do not want to chug this, man. What is wrong with you? Totems? Fucking totems. Oh, man. Ranrock's loyalists are a menace. What can be done? Wait, are you part of the side quest? The loyalists? I couldn't help but overhear. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. Never imagined they'd act this deadly. I'm Claire Beaumont, by the way. Nice to meet you. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. My brother Bardolf dared to stand up to them and ended up in St. Mungo's. Simply at my wit's end. Okay, I can run them out, man. I'm unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. Mm -hmm. Much as I would love to be rid of them, I wouldn't want you to risk injury or worse. Please be cautious. Okay, it is what it is, man. We should not have to live in fear. This is our home. Clear goblin encampments. Madam Beaumont, might I speak with you? Yes. What about? Mrs. Sprottle told me a little about your brother's disappearance. Yeah. Oh, he's dead. Dorothy. she go looking for Bardolf herself if she could. Mm, she seems genuinely worried. Kind of sure. She mentioned dark magic and even the Ashwinders. Despite my repeated warnings, Bardolf's been experimenting with dark magic near the edge of the forest. <gasps> I thought perhaps he'd get it out of his system and it would gradually stop. But then one day... He took it one he step too far. Home. I'll keep an eye out for I'll him, man. know if I see or hear anything about him. Thank you. Yeah, he's How dead, kind. He does, I'd be so it. grateful to learn where he is. I know in my heart he's out there. Do be careful. Thank you for passing through. Okay. Let's get this chest in here, man. Please be a good fucking wand handle, man. Please be a good wand handle. Fucking dank my shit out, bro. We need to get we need to get drip. Drip is a necessity, man. Seems as though things are getting worse. No, there's no drip. Oh my goodness. I'm stealing the jelly beans though. Fuck them. I am not buying any of your dog shit, man. Ooh, a pink swirl. Wait, that's not pink. That's like red and black. Look at this. I kind of like that a lot, but unfortunately this is better. I want like a black and a gold. Is that is that not something I can get, man? Is this this quest is level 22. We're about to get like level locked, I think. The dreaded level lock. I think the only game that I've ever been level locked in is Assassin's Creed Origins. Or whichever whichever one is the one where it's like the the fucking gladiators like spartans and shit whichever one that is and i thought it was such a dog shit concept well might pique your interest i came as soon as i could i finally realized what it was that struck me about that triptych this is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it that's incredible you know this area well and while i was waiting for you i scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby 
surrounded by Ranrock's loyalists. Mm. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? I've no idea. But perhaps they're searching it, the way they did Brookwood Castle and Isadora's Manor. How do we want to handle this? We kill them. We deal blows. We need to see what they're doing. I say we take them head on. Head on. Let's bury some enemies. Let's do Very it. well. And I still have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. For Anne. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. We do it for Anne. After you. After me? All right. Say less. There they are up ahead. I'll let you lead. Oh. No one enters this mine. Kill anyone who tries. What was that? I feel as though I'm not alone. They're over level, man. Damn. Damn, we just like fucking her clean house. Damn! Yeah, Ranrock's loyalists deserve the same fate. Nice work. So what is this? What is down there? I, I can't be fucking bothered, man. Let's just get the loot up here and, and call it a day. I can't carry any more Wigan World potions, man. I'm not getting my ass beat anymore. This is going well. We make a good team. We do at that. Once again, I'm going to fight our way through or I'm, be discreet. I'm fighting this on. Boom! How about this? Boom! All right, turn him into stone. Okay, that fun is over. Fun is a relative term. <laughs> it is, and that was relatively fun. This guy. We're getting more concentrations and shit. Didn't I get a concentration three? Pretty sure I did. Hmm. What is this? Oh. Little eggies. Uh, I want that. And I feel like Levioso for the lower cooldown. Just in case they have, like, yellow shields. I think that that's the play. So we're going. You. Rumor is this mine was closed long ago due to an infestation of spiders. How nice. Nothing I haven't seen before. That's the spirit. I mean, it's true. Okay. All right, let's go, Sebi. Mm. For better or for worse, we're in. Let me also. Expelliarmus. Nice. This mine looks like a tomb. It was closed after accidents were reported. Good for them. Now I see why. Ooh. Okay. Unidentified face item. Okay, cool, I guess. I don't see any goblins in these webs. Too disgusting for even a spider to prey on. We'll get both of them, that's true. Ranrock's loyalists are in here. Too many. 
They definitely think there's something here they want. True, I guess. Okay, we're not gonna go that way first. We're gonna go over here. To the chase, to the chase. Oh, that guy's dead dead. He is dead dead, boy. That ledge is awfully high. And he's in Leviosa. Yeah. That works. Doesn't it? I think it does. It's no wonder spiders give people goosebumps. Could be the hairy legs or the solar sign. Good for you. Fangs. Or any number of endearing qualities, really. Ah, uh, don't be like that, Seb. Okay, yeah, spiders kind of suck, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> Smashing. Should have thought to climb the stairs. Okay, do I have to repair Oh, Ooh, we can repair bruh. bro. Wait, no, come on. Do the chase, do the chase, do the chase. We get the chase. Oh, it's got dog shit. Pog. We love dog shit. Repair her. Okay, so when do I have to re repair like an actual like huge bridge, man? Uh oh. Combo. Holy shit, we're comboing so hard. We've read the world of another spider. I shall sleep that tonight. Okay, so he does he really does not like spiders. Okay. I mean I can't can him can you blame him? I don't think you can. Uh which way were we supposed to go? Ooh. Lumos. Lumos. There is indeed a chase. There is indeed a chase. I saw it on the mappy. Medium ground surface? What does that even mean? Confringo! Levioso! Lumos! Ooh! Big ass chase! Oh, look at that! Look at that! Ow! Owie, owie, owie. Confringo. Wingardium Levio Lumos. Okay, well, that was just like fucking dog shit, bro. Uh oh. There's spy doors. I thought there was more. So, where are they? I saw them on the radar. Hello. Okay. Well, I guess uh, the others ran off. We've still not seen a single rune thread. I think we're going to be a bit distracted from runes for a moment. We have another fight on our hands. Uh oh. How nice of you. Okay, hey. I can put you down. Oh, you're level 25 and you're a ranger. I'm just killing you. I'm not dealing with you, man. Boom! Ooh, 
there we go. No. Nice. I don't know why Gryffindors get credit for bravery. We Slytherins are teeming with it. And we're much more fun to fight with. Hey, Slytherin gang! Slytherin gang! Oh, my eye's burning, man. Incendium. Okay, so... Uh, we can have a look around in peace. Rebellion. Okay, there's one, two, three. Confringo! Okay, so we go one, two, three. Ranrock's loyalists never knew to look for it. Oh well. Wasn't expecting that. That works. But there's something up top, man. There's something up top. Hold up, pause. Okay, there was nothing up top. It was just a fucking trap. All right, come on, Sebi. Ooh, what is in here? Wait a second, homeboy. Oh, what is a door journal? What do you have there? A journal entry by Isadora. Hopefully, it will help us unravel more Sebastian, of this mystery. I think I found something. Ooh. A canvas piece. Brilliant. Wait for the chain Our bar. It's weren't in vain after all. Still, Revelio. Something about this place feels odd. If the triptych led us here to find this bit of canvas. We can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the Undercroft and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft, why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols and ancient magic that no one but you could see? Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the Keepers, could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. Here's are some of the memories I've seen. I don't think he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this magic should be used. This is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. Okay, let's go! This place is odd, to be sure. But I'm fascinated by it. Now, for the trek back out of here and to Hogwarts. Unless we can find another passageway to the Undercroft. Let's have a look around. Alright, I'm using the magic passageway, man! And now for the moment of truth. It has to fit. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. Uh-oh. I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Marin Ween has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Ranrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? I mean, Sebastian's already fucking balls deep with us. Like, fucking a get down, goblin. man. He wants no part in Ranrock's fight. A friendly goblin? You know, goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. I do, but not all goblins are- Not all goblins what? Are bad, man. Have you man. forgotten, Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening Those to me. Those are Renrock Why would I listen to so ignorant? You're not thinking straight, Lubro. You don't know what you're saying. Take a breath for a moment. Oh, I know precisely what I'm saying. Unbelievable. Uh, you're, you're really pissed off, man. You're really pissed off. You're just gonna walk away from me, huh? That's what a pussy would do. That's what a pussy would do, little bitch.